Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to integrate a single AD forest using password hash sync with Azure AD Connect. So in this video we will walk through by creating a hybrid identity environment using the password hash sync. This environment can then be used for testing or for getting more familiar with how a hybrid identity works, right? First of all, I will create a virtual machine in Azure and uh, I will install the Active Directory role on that server. Okay. So let's say I'm preparing a domain, a new domain in the Azure by creating a VM and then installing the AD role on that. And then we'll proceed further. Let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, I'm logged on to the portal. I'm going to quickly create a VM here. Right, so I am right. So I'll create this VM and will consider this as an on-prem DC because I don't have the on-prem environment. So I will name it as an on-prem DC so that it acts like my on-prem virtual machine. So I'm just select 2019 data center. I'll just quickly you know, fill in the details and would pause the video because I don't want to show you guys how to create a VM because you know how to create a VM in Azure, right? So I'm going to pause this video and come back after my VM is up and running. Okay, my Deployment is completed. I'm going to go to my VM and we'll install the Active Directory on this server. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Windows Server AD environment in here. Because I already have Azure AD in my environment. So let me just connect to it. I'll just copy the public IP, open MSTSC, paste the public IP here so that I can connect. Eh? Let it connect. Yes. I'm logged on. Now I will go. Okay. I'm going to do tools. Add roles and features. Next, next, next. Active Directory domain services add features. Next, next, next. Install. Okay. These are the <clears throat> features that you have to add to install the ADDS role and then you'll prepare a new domain in a new forest on this domain controller when it will be a domain controller and then we will go ahead and install the Azure AD Connect and configure other things for it to sync with my Azure AD. Okay. Okay. Now when the rules and features are done, you will click on this uh, bank sign and you'll see promote this server to a domain controller. Click on it. Add a domain controller to an existing domain. I'm adding a new forest. All right. My root domain would be assur dot local. 
you can mention anything asa dot local and you can pick any name you want now <clears throat> for a function level domain function level i am making this server as a dns server global catalog type in the password for uh, the dsrm mode i hope you all are aware how to promote a server as a domain controller it will pick up the name here okay then we click on next default default it'll just give you the summary and it will do a prerequisite check before promoting the server as a domain controller you can skip these and you can click on install it will start to promote the server as a domain controller in my dummy domain which is asset.local okay i'm going to pause this video and come back all right the computer got restarted after installing the domain controller role now i will log on to the domain controller and create an ad user let me see here like this will take few minutes okay. i am logged on to the domain controller and now if i open active directory users and computers through the sa.msc or you can directly open active directory users and computers Right, so this is dsc.msc. I click on it. It'll take some time. I don't know why is it so slow today. i can open it from here as well right so active directory users and computers here it is as a dot local domain you can create a new user or you can create an ou here right so i can create corporate users I can create a new user here. John I'll just pick every name. Last name as Asar. John at asar.local. I will set the password for this user. okay this is how you create a now i will go to my azure portal for azure direct active directory just minimize it this is my azure active directory i'll go here here is my azure active directory you can do this is my default directory that i'm getting right so if you go on home you click on create a resource you can type in azure active directory also you can create it here create a tenant right configuration 
you can set up the organization name asa dot on microsoft dot okay uh, select it create create okay v 3 h v t hit submit tenant creation progress this will take few minutes so when this is done i will create a global admin in azure ad my ad uh, i created a new tenant but if i use my default directory the existing tenant that i have i am the global admin there as well so if you cancel this so if i cancel this process go to my azure ad you will see in the users i have some users i'll delete them i have this ashish arora user and if you would see the groups the one that i'm logged in is so you click on users and click on new user see my user ashish arora is the global admin right so i can do the operation so make sure you create a user it has to be a global admin okay now i will download and install the azure ad connect so if i go back from here to azure ad connect it is download azure ad connect so i'll just copy this link take to my domain controller on the server manager i'll just do the off the settings all right i'll let me open it again here hit enter it will download the azure ad connect like this run see it is installing the microsoft azure ad connect after installing you would see it. welcome to azure ad connect i agree click on continue you see the express settings here right on the express settings screen i am going to use the express settings here so you click on it it will install the required components and install the ad connect using the express settings you can customize these settings as well so it enter your azure ad global admin or hybrid id creator so i will do my id 
and the password. Let me check. Okay, I created a new user and assign him the global admin role. Let's see. It says connecting to Microsoft Online to verify the credentials. It will ask me to sign into my account. Okay. Okay. Like this. Okay. Perfect. So verifying that the account is a global admin, retrieving directory information, examining domains. Enter the active directory domain services enterprise admin credential. So it was uh, right. So my on-prem domain is asa.local and the domain admin is Ashish. Right? So e active directory domain services mean the on-premises. Okay, make sure you remember the passwords, members, Ashish. Ashish is not local, is the hmm. this like this okay so sometimes when you add a user like I'm adding Ashish add as a dot local and the password it was not picking it up so use an advanced name like Asar forward slash and then the username The use on-premise credential for Azure already sign in UPN suffixes should match one of the verified custom domain. I am going to continue without matching all UPN suffixes. It says user will not be able to sign into Azure AD with on-premise credentials if the UPN suffixes does not match a verified domain. UPN suffixes will be changed from contoso.com to contos. For example, user will be changed. To, I don't want that. So let me see. Distinct IPs. Right. Ready to configure. Click install. It will install the Azure Ready Connect. It will install Microsoft. SQL Server Express Local DB instance. Synchronization service. It will take some time. I'm going to pause the video and come back. So, after the installation would be completed, we would have to sign out and sign in again before we use the Synchronization Service Manager or Synchronization Rule Editor. After that, we'll verify if the users are created and synchronization is working or not. Okay. Okay, the configuration is complete. You can now log into the Azure Office 65 portal to verify their user account. Are uh, done. I'm going to do exit. So I am going to sign out and sign in. Okay. 
do this. Log off. Sign in. Using the public IP. Here, sign back in. It is logging in till the time I'm going to go to my Azure directory and go to my Azure ready connect. Disabled. Maybe do this Azure Ready Connect. Launch it again. Until the setup is wizard is closed, configure. Customize synchronization options. Use a name. The global admin username. This one. Right. Okay. Perfect. Examining domains. Asser dot local next. I'm thinking every Sync all domains. Sync. So you can do sync selected domains and OUs, and you can do sync all domains and OUs. So if I'll do this, I'll go. I'll uncheck all, but I will do corporate users and do next. I'm using pass password hash synchronization. So what by enabling password hash? I'm sorry. It says by enabling password hash synchronization, user can sign into Azure without the need to deploy any additional SSO infrastructure. Means I can use my on prem credentials to log on to my Azure. So I'm using password hash synchronization. I'll do next. It will check for the installed component. Start the synchronization process. Okay, it is saving the settings. Configuring Azure AD Connect Health Agent for Sync. It will start the sync now. Okay, now I'll do exit. And let's see what happens here. Let me refresh the portal. See, sync state is enabled. Last sync less than one hour ago. Password hash sync is enabled. Right, so if I click on users, you will see. John Asar is synced, right? I created it and on premise directory synchronization service account also is in synced. This is how you enable the 
Azure AD Connect on the new forest using password hash sync. I hope you liked this video. If you have any doubt, please mention them in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.